Port Manatee is a thriving economic engine for Manatee County and beyond. Governed by the Manatee County Port Authority, Port Manatee plays a vital role in serving the nation's need without the support of ad valorem taxes. Some of the cargo that crosses Port Manatee's docks can be found in our everyday lives. According to the U.S. Energy Info Administration's, Americans use an average of about 380 million gallons of gasoline per day. Port Manatee plays a key role in fueling Southwest Florida. We fuel more than 400 million gallons of gasoline per year and other related fuels to consumers like Racetrack, Loves, Truck Stops, and Speedways, just to name a few. Our gasoline products come in by tanker ships across the Gulf of Mexico from refineries in Texas and Louisiana. One of Port Manatee's fastest growing commodities, lumber, is used in projects like home improvements. Last year, Port Manatee and its partners imported over 142,000 tons of lumber products such as plywood and particle board from Brazil. Some products included virgin wood pulp. Most major brands rely heavily on wood pulp to produce toilet tissue. After being offloaded here, it goes to a processor, then to a wholesale distributor, and lastly ends up at stores. Eating a diet with plenty of fruits and vegetables gives important health benefits to you and your family. Last year, Port Manatee and its partners, including Del Monte and World Direct Shipping, imported more than 387,000 tons of fruits and vegetables from Latin America, including 1 billion bananas and 48 million pineapples. You can find some of the products at your local grocery store like Publix, Walmart, and Sprouts. Port Manatee has become a major importing port for orange juice concentrate in the United States. It arrives in tankers from South America. Last year, more than 57 million gallons of orange juice moved through the port. We all enjoy cooling off from the Florida sun by lounging in the pool. If you have a saltwater pool, there's a good chance the salt came from the docks of Port Manatee and originally came from the countries of Turkey and Chile. Port Manatee handled more than 100,000 tons of salt in 2020. Aluminum imported from Argentina can be found by a variety of industries. Some of it goes directly to manufacturers and some goes to smelting factories. Mitsubishi uses certain types for engine blocks and car parts, while other aluminum parts can be used for patio furniture, children's toys, pins, and appliance parts. Port Manatee and its partners move more than 9 million tons of cargo each year from a broad range of commodities. Simple everyday activities like gassing up our cars or feeding our families might be difficult to do if it were not for carriers that transport basic needs to our everyday lives. Port Manatee is one of Florida's fastest growing seaports and adds more than $3.9 billion annually in regional economic impact while supporting more than 27,000 direct and indirect jobs.